G'day folks. Oh, just a quick little tear down this afternoon. Um, I picked this up off the side of the road just for the hell of it. This is a uh, generic brand or store branded Dick Smith Electronics branded TV. Uh, it's probably a very generic Chinese chassis underneath. And we're going to take it apart and just see how cheap or nasty or maybe even good they are. I don't think they're very good, but I don't think many Dick Smith branded electronics are good, but we'll find out. All I know is it's incredibly light, like you could almost lift it with one finger and compared with a uh, Sharp TV of the same size, or sorry, a Sanyo of the same size, uh, which is much heavier. So it's incredibly light. Uh, that's the model, it's a GE6606. It does flash and try and power up, but I think the busted CCFL tubes in the backlight uh, forcing the inverter to shut down because someone's given it a fair whack with something and completely destroyed the panel. I believe it was high definition or maybe a fake HD. It does have HDMI inputs on it, so it could be a fake HD TV, but yeah, cheap, cheap, probably no more than 150 bucks. I can already see that the power supply looks almost the same as the um, Toyota branded ones that I uh, toasted and trashed last time. They already had break, broken panels too, but they were a standard def, well, definitely a standard def panel compared with this one. Um, it wouldn't surprise me in the least if they all use the same internals, so let's get this back cover off and have a quick look. I'm not going to go into too much depth. I might pop the back off the panel or something, but more than likely not. You've all seen inside an LCD panel now, so if you want to, uh, if you haven't, you want to look at it, go back to some of my other LCD autopsy and teardown videos. Okay, well on the inside it's pretty much what I suspected. Slightly newer version of the board that I've seen inside a lot of these uh, store branded TVs. Uh, possibly HD, I don't really know if it's a HD panel. The panel is a AU Optronics uh, manufactured 1031, so probably 31st week 2010. Um, model number T315XW03 V3, version 3. Made in China, of course. Very thin <laughs> and very light. If I had my shredder done, I'd be uh, able to just feed this thing in. That'd actually be pretty cool, but I don't know if I want it sitting around this long before I build it, so it can go. There'll be plenty more to come from there. Uh, as I thought, generic power supply. You see this in every cheap LCD on Earth, pretty much. Uh, made by M-E-G-M-E-T, Megmeat. That sounds terrible. <laughs> But it's a standard power supply. They actually work quite well for little hobbies and things too. You usually just have to replace caps in them. 90% of the time I find them with blown caps. This one here might have been working fine and someone just decided to bash it and... I don't know. Who knows what happens? It was on the side of the road in the bush. Like literally, someone had just dumped it in the middle of nowhere. I was just driving past like, ooh, flat panel. And picked, drove up to it and yeah, it had a hole in it, so I grabbed it anyway. That still looks alright. The inverter board looks fine got high quality Nichicon capacitors and everything on it but it's probably the only high quality bit out of this thing. I'll definitely grab the board out, I'll grab that and the power supply and the rest of it can just go in the scrap bin. There's no Tcon board, it's all on the top strip there, it's all built in. So that's where Tcon is. Oh well. I got rid of a lot of smaller LCDs recently, I just put them out the front of the house on the nature strip and they all disappeared. <laughs> so. There was just stuff that I'd already played around with and pretty much just not, it's not worth repairing so I just put them out the front. I should, I'm not going to do the same with the plasmas though, we can have some more fun with them. Uh, that's about it, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. I know it's a quick tear down but it's about all you're going to get out of this TV, otherwise I was just going to throw it out as it was. So, there you go, generic Chinese Sticksmith Electronics branded television. See yous, have fun.